Hey, in this episode, we're going to talk about Sancerre and how a Sancerre expectation went really wrong. But it ends well. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. I'm going to start this video off a, a little differently because I want to uh, just ask you to subscribe uh, to the channel because there's a lot of people, you, a lot of people out there watching but aren't subscribed. And it would really mean a lot to me if you uh, hit that subscribe button. Now that that's out of the way, I said we're going to have a talk about Sancerre, about a Sancerre expectation that went awry. Um, you know, I'm a big proponent of educating folks and uh, making sure that you can confidently make wine choices. And, um, you know, I was in the mood for a uh, white wine the other day. Actually, I've been in the mood for a white wine a couple of times. The first time I was, I picked up the Shiraz Viognier, which was 98% big red Syrah, and realized, okay, that was a mistake. I didn't realize what bottle that was. But, you know, then I decided, you know what? I saw this scent, this beautiful Sancerre in the uh, in the closet. I'm like, great, Sancerre, Loire Valley, France, Sauvignon Blanc, gorgeous, easy to drink white wines. Chris had a Sancerre Rouge in his wine closet, and uh, had had no idea. But all was not lost, right? Um, I figured it's a good opportunity to talk about Sancerre Rouge, uh, why they might be a good option for you, and, um, <laughs> and, and if nothing else, just have you uh, know that when you see the word Sancerre on the label, make sure you know uh, you know, if you happen to see red Loire Valley on the back label, make sure you're, you know, you know it's red. I think it's 95% of Sancerre wines in the world are, are white, uh, Sauvignon Blanc grape, but uh, they do make a small amount of uh, red wines made out of Pinot Noir. So not all lost. They're generally delicious wines. I got this one. Again, you know, sometimes you know I buy a bunch of b bottles off of uh, Last Bottle Wines. Um, they do their uh, these like you know holiday marathon things where you get amazing deals. And um, you know I bought this shipment came in. I took everything out, threw it in the in in the wine closet, and uh, didn't give it a second thought. So here we are. Let's uh, enough chatter about my ineptness. We've got a 2018 Jean Max Roger Sancerre. The Cuvée Lagrange de Mier. Um, hopefully that comes in clearly. If not, I'll uh, put something to the side of me. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's Pinot Noir, right? Typically, these are Pinot Noir that are probably closer to Burgundy than the um, Russian River Valley in California. So what does that mean? Lighter, more, um, maybe... Uh, you know, more red aromatics, perhaps some minerality, um, more so that typically than, you know, darker red, black cherry type fruit, you know, border, you know, um, you know, heavier, you know, fuller body, that type of, uh, of a wine. So um, let's see what this one smells like. It actually smell. It has a lot of similar similar characteristics to a Burgundy wine or a, uh, a Grand Cru Beaujolais. So nice, fresh red berries, um, a bit of a uh, of a floral note, like floral perfumey note. I can't get much more specific than that. Cherries and raspberries, though. If you kind of think of think of that type of a fruit profile, it smells great. This is a really nice wine, tart. Um, probably comes across more as cranberry raspberry than anything else. Cherries kind of go away. Um, pretty long on the finish. Like this is pretty, still pretty strong in my on my palate right now. This is most definitely a winner. 
A, if you're going to happen to, um, I guess, you know, hope for a Sauvignon Blanc and then pull out a light Pinot Noir, it's probably as good as you're going to get if you, if you go down that red path. Um, in the end, I would, uh, I would buy this again. Uh, this is this is really nice. I think I think this Sancerre world, right? Not only I mean I think from the, a white wine perspective should definitely continue to be explored more. Um, I think Sancerre Rouge very underrated um, and um, something that I think if you if you know right that that, that it's Pinot Noir based wine, you like Pinot Noir, then it's definitely something you should give a try. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm-hmm.